use some formulas. And um, this one I have found a variety of ways to use and I really, really like it. Um, so if on this uh, budget spreadsheet that you have, if you would click on the travel tab, um, we're gonna kind of start there um, and then I'll show you how it's used. So in this travel tab, we have domestic travel at the top and then in the orange um, highlighted cells at the bottom is the um, international. But at the end of each year, so I've got three rows right here for year one, if I need them, this cell that says year one total, if you click on that cell, so right now it says um, 2836. If you look in this upper left-hand corner, usually this will be the, the cell you're in. So this one would be M7 because that's where we're at, we're in M7. But it says year one because I've named it. Um, so um, at, as an example, well, also I'll just say, since I've already named it, um, if you wanted to change it, so let's just do that to, to see how it, that works. Um, I'm gonna change this to, you can call it anything, as long as you don't have spaces. <laughs> No spaces in the cell names. Um, so I'm going to call this um, year dash one. Okay, and then hit return. So I just clicked on that that um, button in the upper left hand corner that gives the cell name and hit enter. Oh, and it says you must have the valid reference you want to go to. I don't think that was right. Okay, I'm going to do underscore one. That worked. The dash, it was like, I uh, thought it was a minus thing. <laughs> um, so if you put year underscore one, now that's the name of this cell. And if you look at year two, it says year two. And if you scroll down even further in the international, that you'll see that like this first year, um, it's I-N-T-Y-R-1 international year one. You can call it whatever you want. Um, so now that you kind of know what these cells are called over here, if you go back to the summary page and scroll down to travel, um, this one says equals year one, which it isn't really even that cell anymore because I renamed it, right? Um, so I'm gonna correct it. And so the way you, so to refer to that cell without having to know what it's called or where it is, just as long as I know what the name is, I can type equals here and start to type what I think it's called. So I know it was, it starts with year and it, see how it popped up these options for me? Some of them are things that I don't want. <laughs> there are functions like formulas functions here. We don't want those but I want it to be this year underscore one because that's what I called it, right? So if I could just click, double click that, now it says equals year underscore one and I hit enter and now that's the number. And so in year one, I have international year one in the formula that tells it that's where it should get the number. So now I don't have to click equals and then go find it on the tab and, and click on it and whatever, it's just already been named. And I think that's especially helpful when it's um, like, like this where it's travel or if you wanna have your fringe benefit rates in a, in a separate tab or someplace on a spreadsheet where you know you're gonna be reusing that again and again and again, um, just to have that in there in your formula so that you don't have to um, keep clicking back and forth. So does